Hi! In today's video we are playing the game Pokemon Scarlet on Nintendo Switch. My name is Darlene Honey and welcome to this video. So, hey ho, let's go. So before we start I need to say that I'm not directly continuing after my last video. I was playing a lot in between. I'm not recording everything here and I'm also not sure if it would be so interesting to record everything because I mean finding all the Pokemons is not that interesting I need to say. Um, before we are really playing I need to check yeah, if the music is still turned down. This was something I've not recognized in another game where I recorded my stream and afterwards you were not able to uh, understand me easily because the music of the game was just so loud. Yeah. So, uh, if it's interesting, these are my Pokemons at the moment, so this is my party. Uh, Coridon already has gained all of his power, uh, he's only not able to battle, but everything else he's able to do. So he can swim, he can glide, he can climb, and I'm not sure what was else, and he can dash, of course. Um, yeah, what else to know? On the map we are here in some kind of icy area, so Glacido, Glacido, Glacido mountain, I hope you say it like that. Yep, and as you can see on the victory road I have six of eight gyms, Path of Legends as a roll. As I already mentioned, it is uh, finished, but Victory Road, there are still two left, and they are both here, so I think this and this, as I know. Uh, should be able to zoom, so... This is one gym, and I think this is the second one. <coughs> so today I want to do the gym test of this gym and beat the trainer. Uh, the last gyms were very very easy for me. I mean I'm one of these players who has no knowledge about the types of the Pokemons at all. So I have no knowledge uh, which type uh, is better against another type or not. But until now this was absolutely not necessary because my Pokemons were always so good that it didn't matter at all. Um, but somebody told me that with every gym you you finished, uh, the next gym gets more uh, complicated uh, or more... Uh, it gets tougher or, or Pokemons are on higher level or something like that. So maybe the last two are a little bit more complicated. And maybe now the knowledge will be good, but I don't have it. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go into the gym. The gym is here. As you can see, this is how gyms are looking like. They are all looking the same, basically. Sometimes the gym tests are really annoying, because they are quite uh, time-consuming. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number 6. Not even a tenth of trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know. But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. I don't know. 
Well, trust me, I could tell from our very first battle you were gonna grow seriously strong. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. She's always battling me. Uh, not always, but always when I m meet her. She's pretty annoying, I need to say. <sighs> Alright, mm -hmm. always important to check the environment your Pokémon be battling in. The battlefield can have these tiny effects on your Pokémon balance stuff, you know. Anyways, sorry I sorta of dragged you here, but a little pre-gym warning should Gym warming up should do you good. Should do you good, is this really how you say it in English? That's nearly like you say it in German. Now come on, lift your seal. Let's have fruitful battle. I hate this fruitful. I mean, I know what the what she means, what she means, but fruitful is. I don't know. Always sounds so stupid. Show me the battle skills that you got. Use six badges. Uh, I just attacked and that's it. I always. I mean, since I'm always hunting for wild Pokemons, I normally already have the information what is effective and what not, so. This is maybe the advantage I have at the gym when I nearly never see Pokemons I've not seen before. And therefore I'm pretty well informed. Did he do anything? No, I don't think so. Oh, he avoided the attack. Come on. Nemona is sometimes really stronger than the trainers. He avoided the attack, come on. Bite him. Do, do something, come on. Can't do that, nothing is working. Okay, that's working quite well, so bite him. I would like every Pokemon to have some kind of healing attack. That would be cool. I've not checked my TMs if that's something I can teach them. He avoided the attack. Yep, yeah, you're avoiding every attack. Is it because we are on ice and he's better on ice? I'm not sure. I would have that. Was this because before she mentioned that the icy floor could have some kind of impact on Pokemon, so maybe mine is kind of sliding. Is that the reason that it's little? Um, I need to tell you that these names are not telling me anything until I see them. Ah, okay, this is the snail thing. Some kind of dragon. Uh, is it effective? Bite is effective. So bite it. Oh yeah, that's enough. Because I, I'm nearly not able to remember names. I'm not good with names. Also with human names, I'm not really... Well, so I'm never remembering anything. <laughs> it's really hard for me if I meet people that I remember my names. So here you can see on the right side that it's always uh, displaying which attacks are effective or not. So here we have it. Super effective is always cool. But I take Mudstale. I love Mudstale, he's really cool. And he has a lot of uh, HP, so 
oder so. Das hätte. Oh, Mod, I think that's this teddy bear like Pokemon. I'm not sure. Yeah, teddy bear. Okay, is there something effective? Why is the information not here? I thought I've already caught the poor mod. Or maybe I. I think I was battling one and then it died. Accidentally, so I was not able to catch it. That's a problem I have very often because my Pokemons are on a quite high level. Either I can catch them using a quick, uh, quick ball, or I need to battle them down so that they have lower energy. But normally, if I just hit them once, they are dying. I'm not able to catch them. Ask for advice. I'm normally always doing what they advise me because I have no knowledge and I don't want to invest so much time in that. I'm pretty sure that um, nerds, Pokemon nerds, would do a better choice than me. But it's okay. Until now, they. It was pretty okay. Okay, what can we do? Half quick. How's that? Ah, she's always terrorizing. Them. Did you say it like that? I think it's always written like terrorize. So her Pokemon turns into terror mode, where it's stronger and. Harder to defeat. Get ready, this move is gonna. <laughs> Aqua step. It would be hard because Aqua is always very effective against this horse. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Have different ones. Okay, wait. That's always nice because these are. Pokemons we got at the beginning, so my cat and her I don't know what it is, some kind of duck. Oh, I think mine did a little better. Yeah, my cat uh, is wearing uh, leftovers, which cause that she is healed a little bit every turn. This is something I really appreciate. It's very, very useful, but also very, very expensive. It costs you 20,000. And I think we need to pay it in cash. That is always a problem for me because I'm never. I'm nearly never challenging uh, humans, but cash you only get, like you see on the right top, that's 7000, you only get when you're challenging humans. If you are <coughs> if you're just uh, collecting wild Pokemons, you get the LP. I don't know what it stands for. Life, life points? No. Um, that's an L for me, man. You got so good. I think that you should be enough of this should be enough of a warm up. You and your Pokemon should be all set now. Here, take these. Just thanks for the bell. Uh, yep. Come on. Yeah. So I normally only have OP and no cash. Okay, I don't need to heal anybody. Before we have to do this test. Let me register you as a challenge. Uh, yeah. 
what is really annoying for me in Pokemon is that the people behind the test, so in every gym, this this guy behind the test is the same. So he looks the same and maybe his name is the same too. And also at the Pokemon centers. I know that this was also in earlier times like that, but in an open world game this is really annoying and kind of unreal and I don't know, it's, it's not cool, I don't like that. Great, now in order to face gym leader Grusha, you'll first need to pass the gym test, that's always like that. Theoretically see the gym, that means doing the snow slope run, oh my god. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach goal within the time limit. To start your test, just head out the gym and go up the slope to your left. We'll find you in. We'll find you in on the details there. Now get out there and have fun. Okay. That sounds difficult. So the jump test is often more complicated than the battle itself. On the left. Okay, this. Not sure. I think so. Here, here stands somebody. Hey there, I arrived. Been waiting for you. This is where the slow st snow slope run stops. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery slidey nature trail. Reach the finish line within the tar ta target time and all you and you'll have passed the test. <coughs> As you can hear I have a really big problem in reading loud. <laughs> so ready to attempt to attempt the gym test by taking on the snow slope run. Yes, I'm ready to go. I'm normally never uh reading loudly. Let's get this test started then. Enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. So I just need some practice. And my only practice are these videos. Later maybe when I read books for my daughter. But at the moment it's quite senseless because she doesn't recognize anything. Okay, and now? Oh, okay, in between the... <sighs> okay, so he's not really accelerating. hit the door that's still okay that's cool otherwise I would have a problem okay 38 seconds and he had one minute I don't know what one minute 30 I think why was my Pokemon uh, pink I think because it was it should be full of snow congratulations on completing the run that was some so that was some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Almost like seeing Grusha in his prime again. Oh you obviously obviously how how do you say that? Obviously? Pass the gym test with flying colors. With flying colors. That's that's a that's a strange saying. Go let the go let the receptionist know. You are the receptionist. It's the same guy. It's something I hate. Almost the same guy there. Hey, just go down. We wanna do a quick run through this gym. Great on the slopes, lift or seal. You finished the snow slope run, no problem. 
And you know what that means, you've cleared the jump test way too good. Do you want to face the Sub-Zero Shredder himself, Jump Leader Grusha? Yes. Very well, allow me to show you the battle code. So now I'm really interested if I have a chance because I am not sure if ice is the same as water because I have some Pokemon in my party which are very uh, uh, easily hurt by water so maybe they are also easily hurt by ice. I'm not sure. This one I've already catched as a wild Pokemon, so I should have the information about it. <coughs> there you are, brr, I'm freezing. I take I take it you're a challenger. My name's Grusha, I'm a snowboarder, used to be pro actually. Now I'm jump leader. I saw you on the slopes your skills. <coughs> Yeah, they were pretty cool. Oh my god, wait. Sorry for the interruption, but because I was coughing, uh, the old the uh, old of my daughter was playing music because she has one of these owls which react on noises. So if she's crying, the owl is singing for her automatically, but it's really really useful. But if I'm coughing, <coughs> it's turning on in the background, and you hear the music all the time. Winter mountains are dangerous, they can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. <coughs> Same thing with po Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today not a great day to face me, you know, you're better off you're better off giving up. <coughs> you sure you want to battle me? Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do personally. Get ready to flee the ice bite of reality. <coughs> so we'll see. You're challenged by Chun Leader Grusha. Okay, this Pokemon I don't know at all. I have no information about it. I normally never <coughs> heal in these battles because I just I'm normally just going through my Pokemon, but this time I'm not sure how hard it will be. Super effective. So, uh, 
Let's see how I work this time. Incinerate with something. Oh, so, okay, that's something. Sorry. I thought that's Pokemon. So, next city turn. I don't know this. I've not catched this until now. I have no clue. Oh, okay, it's the bigger brother of what I've caught so far. This is item here, a little bit, and then we see if he's immediately, immediately dying. why I'm normally using spot because it's it can cause that and it's really useful. Yeah, honestly. Okay, that was not nice. Altaria, okay, I also... She has a lot of Pokemons, I don't know. That's weird, because normally I'm, that never happens to me. And I was already collecting Pokemons in that area with the queens. Ah, okay, that I am. I'm effective against that. Okay, so let's heal a little bit. Because normally I am always collecting all the Pokemon in that area before I'm battling the gym leader because then I have a higher chance that I know all the Pokemon there. So she's terrorizing her last Pokemon, that's normal. Every gym leader does that. But that's okay. I'm not really never terrorizing mine in these battles. I've never had to meet. We'll see if it's really good. Not really. Yeah, okay. Would be a cool feature if the texts would be adapted according to how strong my Pokemons are not because if they are very uh, uh, proud. Even though my Pokemon is kicking their ass, it's, it's quite weird. I you just recognize more that the texts are out general. So they are not out general, they are prefix texts, pre-written texts. And they are not fitting for every situation. We melt straight through my eyes. So I got 8000 money, that's nice. Because I normally never have money. That burning passion you have, you strive for the future, no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your badge. You want a photo together to come or commemorate your win? Come on, that's that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but okay, fine. Special location. Ah, it's not what I wanted to do. I'm normally always taking a picture for my Instagram story. 
with seven gym badges you should be able to catch Pokemon up to level 55 more easily. They actually listened to you too, which is nice. I don't know what they always mean with they are listening to you. I mean, my Pokemon's are always listening to me. I've n never had any issues. Could it be that you just select something in the battle and he's not doing that? Is it really like that? Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. <coughs> you obtained Ice Spinner and... Yep. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again if you don't mind the cold that is. That's it. So, as you have seen, it's it's normally quite a quick thing to beat the jump. And as you've already also seen, the longer part is the trim test, so it's not the battle, it's the trim test. Hey, hey, Rika here at your service. These trims really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? Rika, Rika. Huh? Alright, you haven't met, have you? This young lady is Liftress here. She's so good with Pokemon, even like Primera's taken an interest in her. Oh wow, oh wow. But I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong too. Like, really strong. Which one of you is stronger, do you think? I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. Now, aren't you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of Elite Four. Yes, I am. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, miss. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the um, pinnacle... It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. <coughs> hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You, you heard the kid, she's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. Okay, so we are through it. Well, I think that's enough for today's video. So you've seen a trim test and a battle with a trim trainer, how that's working. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you s we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!